Hello everyone, Merry Christmas. You know, Christmas is one, if not the most significant events on the Christian calendar. And for that reason, at New Bold School, we have always pulled out all the stops to make sure that the birth of Jesus is celebrated in the way that it should be. However, this year, COVID had some different ideas. We were unable to stage a live performance, at least not in the way that we wanted to. So we needed a plan B. And that plan B turned out to be our very first ever movie called Operation Christmas, which is really exciting. It's a story set in heaven. So obviously it's not meant to be taken literally. Um, and it's about the angels trying to organize Christmas. And I felt that there's a huge number of parallels between the schools up and down this country when we've been trying to organize our COVID practices, only to find that day by day, the guidance changes, people end up self-isolating, and it's been a bit of a mess really, hasn't it? Um, but in heaven, they're not the ones making the mess. The chief organizers, the Angel D, Angel F, Gabriel and Michael are doing a fantastic job, but the mortals keep messing it up. So come back with me 2000 years ago to heaven, where we're going to eavesdrop and find out how the intrepid angels have managed to sort out Christmas. Welcome to Operation Christmas. Again, Angel of Death, you'll frighten the life out of them. That's the problem. I frighten the life out of people all the time. Well, it is your job after all. Can you believe the Lord will be going down to earth in just a few more days? I know. I'm going to miss him terribly. It's so sad. <laughs> Don't forget that Jesus is going down there to save all the humans. That's a good thing, right? I know, but I'm worried for him. Those humans are really scary. More scary than you? <coughs> Nothing's more scary than the angel of death. Really, Michael? Do you have to call me that when I'm off duty? Well, it is your name, after all. How about you call me Angel D? D for delightful, or dependable, or dangerous. You must learn to accept who you are. I suppose so, but I'm going to miss him so much. Yes, I mean, Angel D, you really are the weepiest creature I've ever known. Well, there's been a lot of crying in my job ever since the Garden of Eden incident. The humans keep dying. And whose fault is that? Really? All for a piece of fruit? Let's face it, they're not perfect anymore. But he is! And in about 33 years, I'll have to, well, you know. You mean...
There, there, don't upset yourself. He knows you have to do it. Yes, but it's still horrid. He's perfect. He doesn't deserve to die. Just remember, he made you perfect too. That's true. We have kind hearts, sparkling wings, perfect, and 2020 vision. <gasps> Don't mention 2020. You know it's forbidden. Oops, I forgot. This is a, this is a disaster. How am I going to do this all? Oh. This is going to be so difficult. <clears throat> we, we've got a problem. Nonsense. Everything's arranged. Stop panicking. Jesus will be on earth by next week. All is well. No, it is not all well. No one tells Mary she's having a baby. What? She doesn't know? That's what I've been trying to tell you. The boss wants her to know before it happens. Really? I thought she would just... Well, get on with it. We could tell her after the birth. The boss says it's imperative that she knows before. We need to sort this out quickly or everything will be ruined. That's what I've been trying to tell you. What can we do? This is a disaster. Oh no, he's fainted. Go get a bucket of water. Oh no. Oh. Oh. Achoo! Oh. 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 Ow. What are you doing? You need to calm down, friend. That's easy for you to say. You're not organising at all. I've got it. We can go down to Earth and pass us off as humans. They're good thinking. They won't notice us for a while. By the time they figure it out, we'll be gone. Like we did for Sarah and Abraham when they had their baby. No, that's no good. We need something more... Spectacular. This isn't any old birth. This is the most important birth ever. We need to do something great. And we need to do it by... Yesterday. You need to calm down. If you were human, you would have given yourself a heart attack by now. True. I would have finished her off about five minutes ago. Calm. Yes. I need to be calm. Calm doesn't work for me. I need a plan. I've got it. We can appear in a ball of light. Ooh, lovely. All pretty and dramatic. Brilliant. She'll remember it fondly for the rest of her life. Great. But I think only one of us should go. We don't want to make too much of a fuss. She's only young. We don't want to frighten her. Boom! Let me go, let me go. I can appear to... Um, it would be so lovely to live some... Good news for a change. Please. Uh, let's picture this, shall we? The angel of death appears in Mary's living room. Uh-huh. I can see that. She recognises you, as they always do. Uh-huh. What do you think the chances are of her hearing anything you have to say after that? Oh, very well then. I suppose it'll have to be you, Gabriel. You get all the best jobs.
Well, you have to admit, he is a consummate professional. Thank you, Michael. And I suppose it's an advantage that people don't drop dead when you speak. Thank you, Dad. It's Angel D. I'm an angel of the Lord. I bring good news. You don't need to bow to me, Mary. I've simply brought you a message from God. A message from God for me? Yes, Mary, just for you. Of all women on earth, God has chosen you to give birth to his only son, the Messiah. But how can this be? I'm not married yet. It's very important for you to understand that this isn't a child of man. He is a son of God. He will come to you by the Holy Spirit, and you will name him Jesus. I'm so honored. This is such an incredible privilege. Is this real? Am I dreaming? No, it's not a dream. You are wide awake. When will this happen? Very soon. Be a brave girl and trust in God. All will be well. I can't wait to tell Joseph. He's my fiance, you know. Oh, you're gone. Thank you, Angel. Thank you so much. Oh my, I'm going to have a child. I wonder if he'll look anything like me. I'm so happy I can sing. I am the one chosen to have his baby. How can it be? With this. What if he doesn't believe me? Wasn't Gabriel's visit to Mary beautiful? Don't start up again, Angel D. I can't help it. <laughs> <coughs> Welcome back, Gabriel. Excellent job. Thank you, Michael. I really enjoyed meeting Mary. She's lovely. It was the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Everything's well again. We can relax. Okay. Oh, how are we going? I don't sleep. This is a problem. I don't. We've got a problem, and we need to sort it out now. Relax. Gabriel has been down to earth. It's all sorted. Mary knows about the baby. It's all good. That's not the problem. Well, what is it then? The problem is that young man, Mary's fiancé. You mean Joseph? Yes, him. He's found out Mary's having a baby and doesn't want to marry her anymore. Well, that's silly. She's the one to have the baby, honestly. All he has to do is sit there and wait. The problem is, he doesn't know the baby's the boss's son. He thinks it's someone else's. He's just about to break off the engagement, 
This is a disaster. We have no choice. Joseph will have to be told. But how? Time is running out. Let me think. We need to be discreet. Oh, I'm discreet. Let me go. I could appear to him a dream or something. Let's picture this, shall we? The angel of death appears in Joseph's bedroom. Uh huh. He's fast asleep. Uh huh. He wakes up to see the angel of death standing over him. Oh. We want a wedding, not a funeral. Sorry, Angel D. You can't go this time either. It will have to be Gabriel again. But couldn't I go with you, Gabriel? I'd be no trouble. I'd just hang around in the village in case someone really does drop dead. I'm not much use, really, am I? You're incredibly useful, Angel D. We'd be lost without you. Yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. Actually, your idea of appearing to Joseph in a dream is very useful too. You really like it? Yes. yes. We can't just have angels walking on earth all the time. That's true. The mortals will get so used to seeing us. They pay no more attention to us than they do their own sheep. <laughs> Good. So you see, a dream is very useful. Anyway, I'd best be off. He's already asleep. I'll come with you, Gabriel. I really hope it goes well, or everything will be ruined. It will be fine. Gabriel is a consummate professional. Yes, but let us not forget the angel of death went with him. Who knows what might happen? True. Joseph, come on, open up. We're closed. You said my shelves would be ready today. Open up. I said we're closed. Joseph, it's the middle of the week. You're supposed to be open. This is ridiculous. He told me to collect my books from today. Come on, man. Open up. I have a business to run. Will you all just go away? We're closed. I'm disappointed in Joseph. Me too. Two. He used to be so reliable. He'll have no customers left if he keeps doing this. Maybe he's preparing for the wedding. He could be. It's next week, isn't it? Actually, I heard there might not be a wedding. What? His mum told me he's going to cancel it. What? Why? She wouldn't say why. It all sounds a bit strange if you ask me. Let's go. Let's go home. There's no point hanging around here now. What was that all about? Your customers have left. I don't feel like opening up today. You look tired. I didn't get much sleep last night. Still worried about Mary? I can't put it off any longer. I'll tell her tomorrow. But you'll break her heart, son. Are you sure you want to break it off? No, I'm not sure, but what else can I do? She's with child and the child isn't mine. I can't marry her now. I just, I just don't understand why Mary would make up a story like that. I don't know, Mum. I would have never taken her as a liar. She's always been such a lovely girl. But really, a child from God? What do you think to say? I can't help but feel that something isn't quite right. But it will be all right, son. Try to get some sleep for a while, and maybe you'll feel better about opening up the shop later on. Thanks, Mum. I think I will have a little sleep. Trust in God, and I'm sure he'll guide you on the right path. I want to marry Mary. Keep Angel D away. If she's said and done, do not forsake her. God will be with you. Oh, he's sleeping like an angel. 
Angel. The poor boy's exhausted. Angel T, I told you to wait outside. You know what will happen if he wakes and sees you. Oh, but it's so lovely seeing someone who's sleeping and still breathing. Out. I'm going, I'm going. I have an appointment with someone a couple of doors down anyway. I'll meet you outside afterwards. I see. Angel D, try not to cry so loudly this time. You could wake everyone up. You don't want to wipe out an entire village, do you? Joseph, I am an angel of the Lord. I brought you a message. Angel of the Lord. Do not be afraid to marry Mary. The child she is carrying is God's son. You must marry her as planned. Marry Mary. That's right, marry Mary. She needs you. Do not forsake her. God will be with you. No, you don't. Let's go home. <coughs> Mom! Mom! Come quickly! What's the matter, son? Are you all right? I'm more than all right. I'm getting married. What? I don't understand. I had a visit from an angel last night. It spoke to me in a dream. Wow, what did it say? It told me that Mary's child really is the son of God. I believe it. Well, if God had the trouble of sending an angel to you, son, then he better do what it told you to do. Marry Mary. Thanks, Mum. I'm going to the house right now. I'm so happy. What an honour. My daughter-in-law is carrying the son of God and I'll get to see him grow up. Welcome back, you two. How did it go? It was the most fun I've had in a millennia. I wish we could do it again. I didn't think my nurse could stand it. Congratulations. Well done. Now all we have to do is relax and watch the plan unfold. Problem, and we need to sort, sort it, it out, out now. Angel F, relax. Joseph is going to marry Mary. Problem solved. That's not the problem. Well, what is it then? Jesus has been born. How is that a problem? The problem is the mortals. Their saviour has been born, and they're carrying on as if nothing has happened. It's pathetic. What? No one's celebrating. Only Mary and Joseph. That can only mean one thing. They, they don't, don't know. Come on, we have to go down there and make some noise about it. After all, it's the first Christmas ever. But how should we do it this time? I think we should all go together and tell the mortals all about it. But Michael, they'll see us. <laughs> I don't care. This is no time to hide or be quiet. Jesus has been born. They need to know their saviour has arrived. Can I come? I suppose I know the answer to that one. Let's picture this, shall we? Angels in the sky. Uh-huh. Delivering great news. Uh-huh. Among them, the angel of death. Uh-huh. Yes. You can come. In fact, 
I'm coming too. I think we should sing to them. They will love it. I can sing. In fact, I have an excellent singing voice. Come on, what are we waiting for? Let's go! This seems like a good place to rest for the night. We can see the sheep really well and we can spot any danger from this height. I'll support you on that. I'm exhausted. What's that? I don't know. It looks like a giant star. I've never seen anything like it in my life. I don't like it. I don't like it either. It could be some kind of sign. Maybe something is about to happen. Maybe God is going to punish us for all the bad things we have done. I hope not. I've not been very good for a long time. Me neither. Actually, I've been pretty bad too. If I got what I deserved, it would not be a pretty sight. Look at stuff. It's hanging right over Bethlehem. It's weird. Right. Or if you stop talking about it, you're creeping me out. Oh no! I knew it! We're done for! I kicked on the sheep yesterday in a bad temper. I'm sorry, please don't destroy me. We've all been really bad, but we'll be better from now on. That's like the angel of death! <gasps> We're sorry, we're sorry. Fear not, you won't be judged today. Although it is definitely coming at some point, so you better start being good today. We bring good news. Christ your Saviour has been born. The Messiah has come to save you from your sins. Which will actually put me out of work, but... You'll find him in a manger where the star is pointing.
Come on, what are you waiting for? Go and worship him! We just got them calmed down. Why did you have to go and do that? I couldn't help it. You have to admit, they took off pretty fast when I spoke. Doesn't everyone? This is the best day of my life. I'm glad I live to see this day. From this day on, I'm going to be better than good. Me too. God must really love us or he would have not chosen us to get an important message like that. We don't deserve it. We're the least important people in the world. We need to take him a present. We haven't got a present. Oh, this is embarrassing. What better present from a shepherd than I am? Let's take him the best one of the frock. Come on! admit you were fantastic angel d and you didn't exaggerate about your singing voice thank it's you it's fantastic thank you everyone one does one's best well he's arrived safely with mary and everyone knows about it so i guess that's it for 33 years this isn't good how is this possible? No way. We've got a problem and we need to sort it out now. Oh, come on. Jesus has arrived safely with Mary and everyone knows about it. Problem solved. That's not the problem. Well, what is it then? The problem is those three kings. You mean the wise men from the east? The ones who are following the star? Yes, exactly those. How are they a problem? They seem perfectly lovely to me. They've only gone and spent the night at Herod's palace. Uh, that's not good. The amount of people I've had to visit because of him makes me shudder. That sneaky Herod is probably pulling information out of them as we speak. He'll want the baby dead. But it's not the right time. This isn't good. No, it isn't. Apparently, Herod's asking where the baby is so it can worship it. He wants to give the newborn king a gift, but I think we can all work out what he really wants to give him. I'm guessing it will be the sharp end of a sword. I'm telling you, he's more dangerous than me. We have to warn the wise men, and we have to do it now. A quick visit from me would solve the problem. Let's picture this, shall we? You go down to meet Herod. Uh-huh. You appear in front of him, perhaps when he's eating dinner. Uh-huh. He chokes to death at the sight of you. Uh-huh. How would that work? Hmm? I like it. I do too. But I don't think the boss would like it. We need to think of something else. I'll go. I think a dream would be best this time. But what does he think? The dream is a result of too much pudding or something. With the same for all three? They're wise men. They'll get it. It's all settled then. Thank you, Gabriel. I'd best be off then.
Angel D, would you like to come with me? Really? Yes, of course, as long as you promise to stay quiet while I'm delivering the message. You won't even know I'm there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I want that baby found, and those three fools will lead us to him. Yes, sir. But won't they get suspicious, sire? Don't be silly. We will make them welcome tonight to earn their trust, but tomorrow you will follow them. Yes, yes sir. sir. But what should they do if they find the baby? Should they bring it here? Are you mad? You will kill anyone who gets in your way and you will kill that new king. Yes, sir. You want them to kill a baby, sire? How dare you question me? Would you like your head to remain on her shoulders tonight? No, I, I would never question you. And yes, I would like to keep my head, sire. Don't you understand? That baby cannot be allowed to live. It is a king, so it is a threat. I am the only king of this country, and I'd like it to remain that way. Of course, sire. Are you hungry, soldiers? Yes, sir. Good. I want you hungry and angry for tomorrow morning. No supper, got it? Yes, sir. Go take those three idiots some of our best food and make sure they have a comfortable place to sleep. Ha, it could be the last sleep they ever have. Wise men indeed. They are the three most stupid gullible idiots I've ever met. Sir? What is it? Should I make them breakfast too? Or is kindness off the menu in the morning? Get going and stop babbling nonsense. You may not be alive either tomorrow. You had better not fail me or it will be the worst for you. Yes, sir. that Heru could be such a nice man. I just don't understand why people speak so badly of him. He's been an absolute pleasure. I know what you mean. I really wasn't sure that dropping in on him was a good idea, but I'm so glad we came. I agree. He's a perfect gentleman. And the thing that impresses me the most is the genuine interest he has taken in the prophecy about the star and the new king. Exactly. Most people just laugh at us. It's so embarrassing to be laughed at, especially since we're supposed to be the wise men. Do you know that Herod spent over an hour talking to me this evening? He told me how much the birth of a new king would mean to his people. 
He is an amazing man and so humble. Imagine a king as great as him wanting to worship a baby. He certainly is unusual. Oh. Well, I don't know about you, but I'm exhausted. We'll be back sleeping in the tent tomorrow, so let's enjoy these cushions. Listen carefully. I am an angel of the Lord. I brought you a message from God. Do not believe Herod. You must not trust him. He wants to kill the baby. When you wake up, leave quickly and make sure no one follows you. Angel D. Where are you, Angel D? Oh no, what is he doing? Herod! Angel D, stop! What are you doing? Looking at the face of a monster. Well, as long as you're looking and not touching. I don't work that way. He'll have to face me someday, though. And when our little baby comes as king of the earth, he'll have a lot to answer for. Come on, Angel D, let's go home. Hey, you never call me Death Angel this time. Somehow tonight you seem more like an Angel D. D4, dependable. I just had the strangest dream I've ever had. Actually, I had one too. Me too. What was yours about? Herod. Herod. There was an angel in mine. Mine too. It told me Herod was trying to kill the baby. This is incredible. We all had the same dream. What are the chances of that happening to three people? Zero. Clearly, it was a message from God. Then we must do what we were told to do. Come on, it's time to leave. Nice singing, Michael. Not quite as good as mine yet. Ah, oh, welcome back, you two. How did it go? Rather well, actually. Is Herod still alive? Yes, of course he's still alive. Unfortunately for us, it's not his time yet. Like the professional angel he is, Angel D left that monster untouched. Yes, of course. Angel D is a consummate professional. I am? Yes, of course you are. Well, that really is the end of our task. Nothing else can go wrong now. Let me guess, you've got a problem. And we need to sort it out now. And I'm not allowed to help. What are you talking about? There's no big problem. At least, not for a while. If you want a big problem, just wait until 2020. Now that's a big problem. But if you want to see a job well done, look over there. Yeah. <laughs>
you enjoyed watching our movie as much as we enjoyed making it. We had a blast. Just to reassure you that all COVID safe practices and guidance were adhered to throughout the making of this movie. Hope you have a wonderful Christmas, everyone. Thank you for joining us. Bye-bye.